The next song I'd like to address is Red House. And if I was going to do this on the acoustic... <laughs> transfer always to the acoustic. So, it's Red House of Yonder. A7 to a D9. I'd like to slide into that. It's where my baby stay. I'm going to raise it one fret or a half step. And then back down. Slide into my D9. It's Red House of Yonder. Turn around that last chord. 
So you can spice this up in a lot of ways. Uh, or you can strip it down. And what I'm doing, I'm just playing my fifth and sixth string. And my first finger is only pushing down my sixth string. It's muting everything else out. So I have the flexibility of... first finger mutes out my sixth string so I have the flexibility to play with freedom without that kind of noise coming through. So again, it's all about control. If you want to have freedom with your right hand to be able to really pull stuff out of your guitar, you're going to have to learn to cover it with your left hand. Okay? Uh, Just let that pick. Did you ever put cards in your spokes on your bicycle when you were a kid? And as the spokes went past and hit the cards, it made a big loud noise. It's the same kind of thing. You just want just, just to drag across. But you want to give it some effort. The emotion you get out of your guitar is the emotion you put into your guitar. So I would encourage you to look on YouTube, look at my version of Red House on the electric guitar. Uh, when I play lead, it's all in the key of A minor pentatonic. Now Hendrix, just right out of the chute, uses an A major and minor pentatonic woven together in the intro. Much, much, much of the blues that you're going to hear uh, has the weaving of those two together. B.B. Uh, King does a lot of that. Um, that's its own art form. Okay, so really learn how to play your minor pentatonic, really learn how to play your major pentatonic, then seek out songs like this uh, or more traditional uh, forms of playing to where that um, weaving together is going on. And what I mean by that, um, you'll play your minor pentatonic for the part of the lead. And then it'll go to a part that I just played here. This is from an A major pentatonic. Because if I take... That's something to be explored, the major and minor pentatonic and how they meet and are woven together. Okay? So have fun with this. Uh, check out my live version with the band uh, on the electric guitar. It's all from, from, my, uh, from the place that I play. From I use mainly just a minor pentatonic. And um, I use a lot of rhythmic variations to really bring some depth into my playing. Uh, I approached the blues early on as a rock player. I didn't come to the blues in a traditional sense. I came via rock and roll. So um, I'm not the best source at getting a lot of those um, real traditional licks. I've got many of them. Um, using them, I really tend to go the minor route more so than the uh, minor major route. So Clapton, Freddie King, B.B. King, Albert King, uh, more uh, so of some traditional styles would be a really good thing to uh, look for. Look, look at every version of Red House you can find out there. Then start looking at all kinds of blues, I mean real deep blues that are in the key of A. Uh, and uh, there's a great version of Hendrix doing uh, Red House on uh, Jimi Hendrix Blues. 
that is a tremendous source of rock blues to really listen to, to bridge that gap. Uh, if you're wanting to get into the rock from a blues perspective, or if you're wanting to get into the blues from a rock perspective, that's an excellent resource. Okay? Good luck.